This is a paid advertisement. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Noon Show on TV2. I'm David Burns, and this is Ask the Expert. We welcome back Doug Newhouse from Sure Drive Basements. Welcome back to the show, Doug. With a free book offer coming up in just a few moments, something if you're experiencing uh, a wet basement, you're going to want to have on hand. And Doug, let's start with the number one asked, most obvious question. Why do our basements leak? Well, the simple answer is because they're in the ground. But let me explain to you what I mean by that. With basic construction, the original uh, drainage system is designed for failure. It starts with a hole in the ground to make room for the foundation of the basement. A concrete footing is poured on the bottom of the hole to support the basement wall. The basement floor is poured. Then the wall is sealed with tar. Drain tile is installed around the perimeter of the foundation and covered with about two feet of gravel. Then the gravel is covered with native, top so uh, native soil or topsoil to grade. The house is built, the landscape is finished, and then when the rain is introduced to the finished product, we know that water seeks the path of least resistance. The loose backfill settles, causing water to collect next to the house, but it also allows water to flow through it right down to the drain tile. Now, the drain tile is working as designed for a while. Now, clogged footing drains become evident sometime after construction. As time passes, the water collects granules of soil and deposits them in the drain tile. What we're left with then is a clay bowl effect where your basement and the backfill soil around the basement, it sits in sort of a clay bowl uh, without the benefit of a working drain system. Now, water seeks its own level even if your basement is in the way. Okay, so as homeowners, what are some of the things that we can do to help keep our basements dry? Well, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you look around the perimeter of your home and check the grade uh, of the uh, uh, landscape away from the house. Now, get down below the stone, the decorative stone, get down to the hard pan. And that grade, you want to have a positive pitch away from the house, and so make sure you bring that up. Uh, some good native soil or clay soil is good for that. Okay. Keep your down spout extensions about eight feet away from the house uh, and make sure that your water gets pitched away. And if you have any further questions, just give SureDry a call. And let's talk about the free book offer. Well, uh, uh, we have a free book to offer you. It's called Dry Basement Science, What to Have Done and Why. And we're going to offer that to anybody who calls us to set up an appointment for a free evaluation and estimate. Okay, you see the number and the website on your screen, SureDryBasements.com. And Doug Newhouse, thank you for joining us today on Ask the Expert. If you'd like to see this again, log on to WBAY.com and click on Ask the Expert. I'm David Burns. More of the Noon Show coming up right after this. The preceding was a paid advertisement.